Hey, what is up, guys? It's your boy Michelangelo here, bringing you another video. So, we're back for some more Undead Unluck episode 6 here today. Uh, last episode was absolutely fantastic. We got introduced to all the Union members, and a couple of you let me know who the voice actors are. Very shocking. So, Jewies is Kilua slash Young Gojo. That's very shocking because we got Young Gojo and Old Gojo in this particular anime. Of course, because Andy is Gojo's voice actor um, as an adult, and now we have Jewies as the younger you know, voice for Gojo. It's really shocking. Um, top is Bakugo slash Genya from Demon Slayer. I don't even know why I didn't realize that one. Billy is Stark from Bleach, a spotter number one. Very shocking as well. Tatiana Nemu Kurotsuchi, Mayuri, Kur Mayuri Kurotsuchi's lieutenant. That's her voice. Very shocking. Mui is Mikasa? Bro, like, are you kidding me? Yo, Nico is Gi Nichimaru from Bleach too. Like, Casting in this is so solid, man. It's absolutely incredible. Uh, somebody did let me know that Phil and Ishin are the only ones who the voice actors are unknown at this moment. I guess they didn't speak in the last episode, so uh, hopefully we'll get to find out who they are later on and everything. But uh, yeah, those are all the voices of the negators. It's really shocking, man. The dub W casting, I must say. Uh, but we left off on um, the crew, practically. Of course, we know Shen is Tanjiro's voice actor, uh, Natsuki Hanai, but uh, Shen, uh, Andy, and Fuku are about to head over to uh, the, you know, hardest mission, which is Quest 6. Uh, go after the UMA Spoil, who I believe has the negating ability to unrepair. Very excited to find out how that's going to play. Uh, but uh, yeah, he's apparently located in the Big Apple, New York. So that's where they were heading. And uh, Andy got some new clothes as well. Clothes that I guess will never be destroyed. You know, you guys were kind of you know, uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, comparing it to a symbiote, which is, it kind of is. Like, Clothy is kind of like a symbiote, the way he looks and everything. I don't even know why I didn't think of that. But uh, yeah, man, I'm excited to see what this episode uh, entails and uh, where we're going to go and whether they'll be able to, you know, stop, spoil and everything. So yeah, that's enough of the recap. Without any further ado, let's jump right in. Three, two, one, go. They're heading to New York. Oh, Las Vegas? In a truck? Interesting, okay. Alright, let's go to Vegas. Gamble. Where do they have to go? Rotting corpses? Conducted memory wipe of witnesses and nearby residents pertaining to current phenomenon. So they're wiping the memories of the civilians? Interesting. James Double Smith? Okay. I said Double Smith. W Smith. Longing. So they're going to Longing? Shen? Bro, he has his feet dug into the roof of the truck. That's crazy, man. I don't know what type of kung fu Shen knows, but that's crazy, bro. That's doing some real great work for his abs, I'm sure, too. Goddamn, Tanjiro. Is he crying? What the? Ah, <laughs> How did he get in? Bro, Shen is built different, man. And I love his chill personality, how he does things like this. <laughs> Pretty much, right? Mm. Is it more than one? Homemade zombies? God damn, okay. It has... <laughs> is that Spongebob? This is per purely personal opinion. She's She thinks it's Spongebob, bro. That's funny. Oh my god, that is hilarious. I wanted to say something and then I saw Spongebob, bro. <laughs> I wanted to say, oh yeah, um... Is this negating power on repair or like what exactly is going on? Because I remember Apocalypse did mention 
the UMA spoil is what they're going after, and his ability is on repair or like uh, uh, his negating ability. Or uh, anyway, maybe hopefully they spot. <laughs> Wow. I love how he speaks Mandarin. I guess not. Or this is audio that they recorded before they got killed. Bro, it's literally become ZOM 100. <laughs> oh? Ain't no need, so he's not gonna go all out? Oh, Shen trying to rile him up. Somebody in the comments mentioned something very interesting to me. They said there are no, there are no stars in this world of um, Undead Unlock, which I find interesting. Which now makes why... You know, when Fuku was painting her painting with uh, uh, Gina, she uh, she added stars. So the world practically is still being made, which is interesting. We just need to find who the god is who created Apocalypse on the other side of Apocalypse, like Juis mentioned. What did he say the reward was? I think Andy interrupted him. Oh, the location of... Oh! If we're able to clear this quest and meet this on oh so spoil and unrepair are two separate people I see okay now now I understand okay interesting okay so they want to find him to help Andy die he was forced into it yeah Andy forced him it's the hardest one right. Who? Victor? What, what did he? Who? Huh? I'm confused. Sorry. But Victor, God of Victor. Victor, God of Victory? Okay. Damn! This man, Andy, brought. He's packing some heat, bro. He brought a bazooka. Well, there come the zombies. It's Zomb 100, guys! They he, does he plan to blow them up? So they can't change back into humans. So they, they're just dead, practically. So... So he's going all out? He's gonna kill all of them? Damn. Nah, bro. And he's a savage, bro. Damn. Meat bags. There's so many of them. Blood ring. Woo! Damn, we slashed all their heads. Crimson waxing moon? That is a badass technique name. Yo. Yo, it's raining blood. God damn. That much blood? Mother. Oh, she's not totally spoiled, huh? So maybe she can give us some answers. Where is spoil exactly? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What? UMAs, okay. Okay, this is a very important thing. Um, UMAs are di are different from us negators. They are very... The, they are the very rules themselves, okay? 
It's common for them to suddenly ensnare people without rhyme or reason. Don't tell me you're saying that my ability activates when I look at my target from a certain distance. What is his ability? And is he trying to insinuate that Andy has already been, he's already starting to show signs of being controlled by spoil? Uh? It has most likely already activated its ability, I see, okay. Spoil, that is, I see. Most UMAs will impose their rule on anyone who steps within their range, no exceptions. So now that they're in the range, is it possible that, you know, Fuku and the gang might be controlled by spoil? That was interesting to see him apologize. So he hasn't been controlled, that's good. Oh, Clothy! What? Oh. Now she turns away, wow. Is that a countdown? You're as good as dead now, they've got you right where they want you. So is that a countdown until he turns into a zombie, I assume? Spoilers already got him? I see, so he got into its zone. Are you serious? If he... If Spoil controls angry... I mean, I, I said angry, my bad. Andy, we're all screwed, bro. But hold up, okay, maybe he has a plan. Oh, okay, maybe. But he, it's not gonna kill him, but he'll be able to control him, right? That's what I'm afraid of. He's starting to decay. <laughs> that chick in the back there who's a zombie is her reaction is killing me, bro. So her, okay. Oh, that's the The participant count was three though, right? That's what Apocalypse said. He's speaking zombie language. Okay. What? She wants to get married? Oh, so he can understand zombies because he's spoiled now. Wow! <laughs> Fuku's okay with this. This is crazy. I'm starting to feel like Shen is the only sane person here. <laughs> uh oh. Who's that? Who the hell is this kid? Bro, this is... <laughs> oh, Shen, poor guy. He's, keep, he's trying to keep the team on mission, but everything is going crazy. Who the hell is this kid? An underground bunker? Huh? Oh, did he bring her towards uh towards him? Like the way he did the first time? Like I remember she was trying to run when they were fighting the first time and like he was just like magneting her magnetically pulling her back is what I was trying. Still don't get what his ability is. Hopefully he can explain. He's got a gun, he's packing, and there's more kids. Oh, they've been turned. Or rather, spoils. Wait, more? Did you say more digits? The timers have more digits. Interesting. Okay. So they have more time. Don't 
to stop the zombies and the spoil UMA. Oh, Fuko. Oh my god. She's got a tie more on her too. She went into his zone, his range. Shen is doing it too? Wow. Oh, Shen. Nah, that's crazy. So they're all gonna die together until they find spoil. Spoil. Oh, he's not going to refuse his bride's request. Oh? So that actually was spoil? Hiding in plain sight! Bro, does he have a stomach in his mouth? I said a stomach in his mouth. Does he have a mouth in his stomach is what I meant to say. So this is his true form? What the hell? Quest start. Spoil. Okay, here we go. Damn, he's decaying everything. Whole church coming down. He's pretty huge. Oh, no, they protected him. They still have their consciousness. Hammer. Ooh, nice. My God, he's huge. Nice. Let's go. They're about to jump him. Let's go. Oh, here they come. They're about to jump this man. Zom 100 style. You love to see it. Oh, even a kid, bro. Yo, they're God. Damn, there's so many of them. Oh, Andy. Is the episode gonna end? I figured. I oh, I fe I felt it in my bones. Oh, I can't wait to see how that fight turns out, man. Man, this was a great episode. I cannot wait to see how Andy handles spoil. Now, my apologies, guys. Um, I'm still trying my best to understand the whole UMA and negator difference. You know, like are they the same thing or like you know, I, I'm I'm really getting confused by that. But um, you know, because I thought that you know spoil you know, was the person's name or the UMA's name and unrepair was his ability, you know? So I, I, my apologies for getting confused in that regard. I'll try my best to, you know, uh, rewatch and see how best I can understand, um, you know, all these various uh, power types and all these, um, you know, divided, you know, uh, good guys and bad guys, you know, UMAs and the negators and the union, you know, I'm trying my best to understand it as best I can. So my apologies if I get confused um, and for the pausing also. It's just I'm trying my best to understand the story as best I can. But yeah, man, this is a really great. It was a really good episode. Really sad to see those kids hiding there in that bunker. Um, and it appears that Spoil, you know, kind of put a higher timer on them, you know, before they you know, became zombies themselves. I don't know if it has something to do. Probably this is just a wild guess, but, you know, maybe he just likes to, you know, take his time with kids, you know, like in, in some sort of messed up, you know, serial killer type way. That's the only guess I can, you know, like give them more time before now they turn into zombies. But it's really sad that he, you know, took over this whole town and just made all these people feel that way. But really cool to see Andy unite everybody like that, man. I can't wait to see him kick this thing's ass, man. Um, And guess the reward at the end is now finding on repair and um you know asking him the question about whether 
you know, uh, is there something out there, I guess, that can kill Andy and all. But uh, yeah, man, solid episode. Really loved Shen also. Like, uh, Natsukihana is killing it with this character. He's like the only sane person here. But seeing him also sacrifice himself like that because Fuku went and hugged the kid, you know, he was like, oh, oopsie, guess I got into the boundary of spoil. Guess I'm going to die too now, you know, have a timer on me, you know, so it's, it's really crazy. But hopefully Andy can take down uh, spoil in time and, uh, you know, all the timers can disappear and hopefully everybody can change back. But I guess, you know, uh, Shen did say, uh, or yeah, he, he did say that, you know, once they turn, I guess it's, you know, it's over. They're pretty much dead. But uh, yeah, anyway, solid episode. Cannot wait to see how episode seven goes. If you enjoyed my reaction to this one, I'd really appreciate it if you guys could subscribe to the channel. It really does help out a lot. Also, give it your thumbs up for the hype of Undead Unluck. Loving it so far. Also, make sure to hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my future reaction videos, live streams, or walkthroughs. You can also feel free to follow me on all my social media, Twitter and Instagram. The links to that will be down below in the description of this particular video. You can also feel free to join our Discord. The link to that will be down below in the description of this particular video as well. You can also feel free to become a Patreon or a channel member by clicking a link down below in the description of this particular video to support your boy. And you always get a shout out in every single one of my videos. But until then, guys, please do it here. Take care of each other. Peace out. Have a lovely weekend. And I'll see you guys next time.